Before we show you how to build a custom view, we'll offer a quick word of caution when it comes to managing views. Building and editing custom views is really easy. In fact, it might be argued that sometimes it can be a little too easy. You'll notice that in the top right-hand corner of my view, there's a handy little customize page button. And this takes me directly into my view editor where I can add resources and move things around. While this is a very powerful capability, most Orion users may not understand that when they make a change to a view, that change isn't just applied for them, it's applied for everyone with access to the view. There are a lot of shared views in Orion, but when you go into the view editor, there's no warning. You have to understand what you're doing when you're creating new views and especially when you're editing existing views so that you don't mess things up for anyone else. If you are the one and only Orion administrator, then this won't be a problem. However, if you have a lot of users logging into the web console, you need to be extremely careful about who gets view management rights. View management rights is one of the permissions in the individual user accounts. If a user doesn't have view manager rights, then they can't create new views, and they also can't modify existing views, so the customize page button isn't even there for those users. So just a word of caution, if you're managing a large environment with a lot of Orion users logging in, don't give them all view management rights. With all of those warnings, let's go ahead and build a custom view. Go to the Settings menu and select the All Settings link. This will take you to the Main Settings and Administration page. Scroll down the page to the Views resource and select Manage Views. This brings up a list of all your existing views. Here you can edit a view, make a copy of a view, or create a new view from scratch, which is what we want to do. So I'll click on Add. The first thing you need to do is give your view a name. But let's pause again for just a moment and talk a little about view management. When building custom views, you shouldn't build views for individuals, but rather build views for certain roles, like network admin, or help desk staff, or security admin. Even if all the roles need the exact same information, it is not recommended that you share views between them. Inevitably, one of those teams is going to want something different and make a change that affects other teams as well. Instead, you can make a copy of the view and assign one copy to one group and another to the other group. This makes our naming convention very important. Next, you'll choose the type of view you're going to build. If you click the drop-down, you'll see that there are a number of view types, and below the drop-down is a brief description of each type. The view type you choose is going to determine two things. First, it determines which resources you have available to build your view. You have literally hundreds of resources to choose from, but not all those resources are available in every view type. So make sure you choose the right view type or you're not going to see what you want. The second thing the view type determines is whether or not the view has to reference an object. If you look down through the list, you'll see that we have two basic view types. We have summary views and details views. Details views have to reference an object. Summary views do not. You've probably already noticed this. One of the first views most people see is the node details view, which has to reference a specific node to populate the informational resources within the view. Pay attention to the view type you choose because once it's set, you cannot change it. Once you've got a name and a view type, click Submit. And this brings you to the view editor. Up at the top, you see the name of the view and the view type, which again, notice you cannot change. Below that, you have left navigation. If you turn on left navigation, this will allow you to create subviews. Subviews are identical to regular views, except that they are assigned to one of the navigation tabs. In fact, you'll see your subviews included in the list with all the others when you click on Manage Views from the Settings page. They'll be saved as the name of the view, the name of the tab. So this subview would be called Summary, Junior Admin, Custom Tab 2. Subviews are great anytime you have more information that fits comfortably in a single view, or if you have a particular resource that just takes up way too much screen real estate. You can move that resource to a subview where you still have easy access to the information, but it doesn't clutter up your main page. We don't need subviews for this particular view we're building, so we will just turn off left navigation. Notice when you do, you get a pop-up that says, do you want to delete subviews? Be aware of this because this isn't a negotiation. This is going to happen. The subviews are going away but at least it gives you a friendly heads up and a choice of whether you want to preserve view information by cramming all the resources onto the main view or just let them be deleted with the subviews. Below the left navigation checkbox, we have the view layout editor. The view starts out with two columns by default, but you can go up to as many as six columns. Below each column, you'll see the column pixel width. Keep in mind that the columns are fixed pixel width. They will not scale to accommodate resources that are too wide, 
nor will they scale to match the full width of the display size, so you need to keep those two things in mind. How wide is the widest resource you're going to include in the column, and what resolution will your users be viewing this page? After you set your column widths, you'll need to click Done to save the views, because those column widths won't stick until the view is saved. If you don't save after changing the column widths, the column width settings will end up being lost when you make certain changes to the view, like adding new resources or view limitations.